Hello, this is Eric D. Kirk for MamaWorld.com and welcome to this tutorial about BeatEdit for Premiere Pro. In the first tutorial, you've seen that BeatEdit can be used to generate automatic edits in sync with your music and now I want to show you that BeatEdit is also very helpful when you do manual video editing to have full control over every little detail of the edit. Again, I start by loading the music. Once BeatEdit has finished the beat detection, I play the song to check whether the detected beats are correct. This time, I don't select specific beats since the marker should only be guides for locations where a cut may make sense. Since each beat is a potential good location for a cut, I keep them all and generate clip markers. Note that I already had my audio clip here in the sequence and the markers are added directly to it. If the audio clip would not yet exist in the project, BeatEdit would automatically import it for you into the active bin. Now let's start editing. Here I have the Freefall HD stock footage clips from Artbeats. I drag the first one I'd like to use into the timeline and let's take a look at it. At about this point, I want to have a cut to the next clip. If I enable the snap option here in the timeline, you can see that when I move the end of the clip, it automatically snaps at the markers. So I can very quickly place the end of the clip exactly at the beat. Now I drag the next clip into the timeline, and because of the snapping, I can very quickly place it so that it starts and ends exactly at the beat. As you can see, the cut feels smooth and fits nicely to the music. Good cuts should not distract the viewer from the story, should feel naturally, and mostly be unnoticed. Cutting in sync with the music helps a lot to achieve this goal. If you are happy with the locations of the cuts, but want to fine-tune the section of the clips that is actually visible, you can also use the slip tool. It keeps the start and end point of the clip in the sequence exactly where it is, but slips the footage below it so that you see a different part of the footage. Another scenario is when you already have a rough cut before you add your music to the sequence. In this case, you can use the Ripple Edit or Rolling Edit tools to move each cut to the most nearby beat. Let's start with the Ripple Edit. As you can see, I can simply drag the end of the clip to move it to the closest beat before or after its current position. If you use Ripple Edit this way, make sure to always drag the end of a clip, which is visualized with this icon with the arrow to the left. If you accidentally move the start of a clip, which is visualized with this icon with the arrow to the right, it looks like it snaps to the beats, but if you release the mouse button, you can see that not the start of the clip is moved, but the end of the clip is actually moved and does not snap to a beat. So make sure to always use the end of the clip and not the beginning. If I work with Ripple Edit, it is also important to work from left to right, since whenever I move a cut to a beat location, all other cuts right of it also move. So if you already had placed those on a beat, they will move away from the beat again. But if you adjust the cuts from left to right, this is no problem. To tweak individual cuts without affecting the other cuts right of it, you can use the Rolling Edit tool. With it, you can move a single cut by making the clip before the cut longer and the one after it shorter, or vice versa. So all other cuts stay exactly where they are. Okay, let's summarize what you've learned in this tutorial. With Beat Edit, you can easily generate clip markers for the beats of your music. When you enable snapping, placing cuts exactly at the beats is super easy and very intuitive. To move existing cuts to a nearby beat location, the Ripple Edit and Rolling Edit tools are also very helpful. Thanks a lot to Art Beats for providing the footage we used in this tutorial, and also to Premium Beat, who provided the song. Again, this is Eric D. Kirk for MamaWorld.com, and we'll see you next time.